Hi ladies, this is Janet. I'm here with another video. Uh, yesterday I spent some time uh, making some Valentine artist training cards. And I made two sets. I made a vintage set and then I made a whimsical set. And I'm going to share those with you today. Now the um, vintage set, uh, three of them I got um, the some of the background from a site on the internet that has uh, vintage photos that you can use in your artwork. So, well, anyway, let me get started and show you uh, what I've done. This is my first one, and I call this one a vintage love letter. The background paper is a paper that I sort of did on my own. I took scrap papers that I have and um, uh, cut them all up and made a collage and then I cut it up so that I'd have this kind of background and it has some pinks, it has a little bit of black, it has roses on it and such and I used that to cover my card and then once I did that I took a piece of lace here and I cut it to fit the bottom of the card and then I added a bright red bow and then up here you might not be able to see it real good, I have a piece of uh, scrapbook paper that looks like um, almost like a newsprint and I cut a heart with it and glued that on and then I made a little tag that says vintage love letter and that's how I did the front of my tag the back of my tag I just ha added uh, some pink scrapbook paper that I have that um, that I kinda like so I didn't want my back to be plain but that's the first one here's the second one this is one of the ones that I got offline uh, the tag here and I cut it down to fit my tag and I added a little bit of lace up here and then some pearls on both of the sides and then I also inked around the edges to give it a little bit of an aged look so and on the back of that I have some of the newsprint and then I also inked the edge of that as well my third one I used the I used the uh, newsprint for the background but this was one of these uh, pictures that I cut out and I cut each piece out separately and I wanted to rearrange it I left the heart together and I put that down but all the flowers in that I cut out separately and arranged them around the heart the way I wanted them and this one I called uh, be my valentine and then I put the newsprint on the back I like that newsprint. The second one is called uh, To My Dearest Valentine on Valentine's Day. So now my third one's kind of cute. I like it. I again used the newsprint on, on it and inked the edges but it has a little heart here with two little cherub children and the one is giving uh, the other one a little um, Valentine and it has a big rose here and it says Valentine on here again I ink the edges I ink the edges on all of them except the first one and then I added a strand of pearls here and then the back again is just a plain uh, pink it's like a shabby chic pink it does have a little bit of a print to it, it looks like a um, almost like a fence type print to it so but I only ink the front of that one but those are my vintage um, Valentine um, ACT cards. But I also made some whimsical ones. Here's the first one I made. And this is just some um, paper I had that has the hearts and flowers. And then I took some pink paper and I sort of tore it and put it down along the side. Then I took um, my heart punch and I made some hearts and cut a center on it and made a flower. And then I have a little sticky uh, heart up here that has an L on it. And then I wrote out love. And I have a little butterfly that's flying down. I inked out the butterfly too. And then on the back, I used some more of the pink paper. I inked around the edges again. I inked the butterflies. And I just have some butterflies going up. That way it doesn't look too plain. This one is called Love Blooms. And I used some more of the same pink paper. But another piece of paper I took and I cut out this flower. And then I used uh, sticker leaves on it. 
I added a button in the center and then I put some pearls around it to define the center of the flower. And then the back, I put another flower here and I also inked the back of that one. But that one's called Love Blooms. And then my final whimsical one, again I used the paper, only this time when I used this paper, I cut it in strips and rearranged the strips how I wanted them. And then I put these in the corner. Uh, because they were strips that went in between. And then I took and I put a heart in the center and I put another L heart on top of that and some leaves. It makes it look like it's almost flying away. And then down in the center I added another strand of pearls. And on the back I put a whimsical flower and I, again I inked the edges to that one as well and on the front as well. But that's what I did yesterday uh, as far as ATC cards go. I made the vintage set and then I made the whimsical set. I'm trying to get some of this done because on Tuesday I leave for uh, California. I'll be out visiting my daughter for a couple of weeks and um, I'll be crafting out there but I'll be doing it with my granddaughters. They like it when Nana comes and she crafts with them and We'll make all kind of neat things. And if I get a chance while I'm there, um, when I craft with the girls, if I can, I'll try to take a video of, the, of us crafting together. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you, and I hope you like them. And I appreciate your comments. And um, thanks for watching. Bye.